cracks in brick, cracks in block, sticking windows or doors, settling or sinking foundation, it's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 20th of April. I'm James Spann. Got a few scattered clouds around today, but the weather stays dry through the weekend, and we are getting ready for the warmest weather so far this year by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country today. Again, the main wave action staying north of the state, but a little wave pushing some scattered clouds in here this afternoon. There's the visible satellite view. Those clouds over about the northern half of the state. South Alabama is mostly sunny. And the radar, rain falling around Memphis, parts of West Tennessee, East Arkansas, North western Mississippi and typically when you see that it's about to rain here but we think no the ridge holds the dry air stays in place and we're keeping dry forecast conditions in there through the weekend temperatures are mostly in the 70s along and south of interstate 59 60s to the north Cullman 66 Birmingham at 70 we're expecting highs around 80 tomorrow and then mid 80s by the time the weekend gets here going to feel like summer there's the watch warning map a relatively quiet day across much of the country we have Winter storm watches for parts of Montana, the Dakotas, and Wyoming. A winter weather advisory for parts of northern Minnesota. Got a chance of severe storms through tonight. West of the state, parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, Missouri. Tomorrow, a chance of severe storms out across the heartland, including a decent chunk of Kansas and some of the adjacent states. Day three, which is Friday, we have a risk of severe storms from the Texas Panhandle up across the Great Plains. And on day four, Saturday, the risk of severe storms. Cities like Kansas City, Omaha, Des Moines, and Wichita. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Obviously, the big numbers north and west of here. We do expect a little bit of rain early next week, maybe late Monday or Monday night, but really not much. Amounts under a quarter of an inch for much of the state and nothing for southeast Alabama over the next seven days. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 4. Ridging building in. The day should be mostly sunny. The high will be at or just over 80 as the warming trend continues. Friday, sunny with low to mid 80s. And this is Saturday, a very warm weekend. Warm is so far this year. Lots of sunshine, mid 80s, and the same thing on Sunday. Monday, a weakening cold front has uh, showers just north and west of the state, and those will likely drift in here Monday night. And again, the ridge holds, and this will be a light rain event, no chance of any severe weather. And then a surge of drier, cooler air drops in on Tuesday with highs dropping back in the 70s. This is a week from today, Wednesday the 27th, a northwest flow aloft and a dry, pleasant day. We'll go out 10 days, Saturday, April 30th. And again, a northwest flow aloft and again, a dry air mass. We see really no big rain events, no chance of any severe weather for the rest of April for Alabama. And we'll take that break. Here's the rain for the next 15 days coming off the GFS Ensemble. The mean between 1 and 2 inches. Evidence we could see rain returning to the state in early May. This is valid through May 6th. And the numbers, highs in the 80s through Monday and back in the 70s for the middle of next week. Here's the latest CPC guidance just in the house for April 28th through May 4th. Temperatures around here may be a little below average for the northern half of the state, near average for South Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video of this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors? Call Alabama Professional Services. Standing water or high humidity? Call APS. Nasty odors or dangerous mold? Call APS. Critters, bugs, or other pests? That's right, call APS. It's a fact. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.